Guys, it's been an amazing year of breaking the set. Over the course of more than 200 episodes, I've been able to talk about a multitude of issues ranging from the food we eat to the criminal activity being perpetrated on the world with our tax dollars. But a lot of the material I cover is tragic. And learning about these issues sometimes brings utter despair and helplessness from the feeling of not being able to immediately bring change. I've traveled to almost every continent. Throughout my short life, I've seen indescribable suffering and breathtaking beauty across this precious planet. Even while acknowledging the good, it's hard to come to terms with so much bad. And I think the eternal struggle for many is how to actively engage with the plight of humanity while at the same time maintaining stability in our own lives. With this thought in mind, I think of the words of the great philosopher and scientist Albert Einstein. Throughout his life, Einstein received letters from people asking him for advice and solutions to their problems. And one day a rabbi wrote him asking how he could explain and come to terms with the untimely death of his 16-year-old daughter. Einstein responded by this, a human being is a part of a whole, called by us the universe, a part limited in time and space. He experiences himself, his thoughts and feelings as something separate from the rest, a kind of optical delusion of his consciousness. This delusion is a kind of a prison, restricting us to our personal desires and to affection for a few persons nearest to us. Our task must be to free ourselves from this prison. And we do this by widening our circle of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature in its beauty. Nobody is able to achieve this completely, but the striving for such achievement is in itself a part of the liberation and a foundation for inner security. See guys, what Einstein proposes is that it's our ego that inhibits the expansion and unity of humanity's collective consciousness. Our thoughts, dogmas, and preconceived notions about the world, whether it be rooted in religion, politics, or just selfishness, hinders us from looking at life as it truly is and each other as we truly are. The struggles we incur in our everyday lives can distract us forever from reality, the world in which we live, the human family we all share, and the earth we all inhabit. This preoccupation deprives us from experiencing the interconnectedness of nature and understanding how we fit into the cycle of life. I myself struggle with this notion on a daily basis, but I also understand that this job and the issues I try to bring attention to are so much bigger than myself. Too often, we get mired down in superficialism, materialism, nationalism. We forget that borders are invisible, labels are inventions, and prejudice is learned. The fight can be won by extending empathy globally. And that means being the change we want to see. Because at the end of the day, that's all we can ever do. And so we have to trust that is changing the world.